What's up operators? Tamanir here with the second part to this YouTube mini-series. This time we are roleplaying as the Canadian Joint Incident Response Unit, also known as CDREW. Our task is to collect samples or specimens in the gym of the Picton Complex. Before heading out to our tasks, we must find players that are willing to help us. After the task is done, they will be rewarded with medical supplies. Luckily, we were able to join forces with the players roleplaying as the US Coast Guards. It was a pleasure working with you guys out there. Enjoy. Uh, let's hide in that building, I guess. Or the vehicle, sure. Yeah. Up. Oh. Just, just Mark, you want me to mark our location with smoke? You want me to mark our location with smoke? Where do you want? Up by the road? Parking! behind us so this might be interesting. Sure, uh, Jeremy's group might be coming from there so just keep an eye out. I'm in the Canadian checkpoint, bitch! <laughs> Swear to Hey, my name is Max. Jason. Good to see you. Let's have a chat in the little uh, powwow if you don't mind. Don't worry about it. Don't no. worry about it. We are investigating some sort of substance that has been spread around here. As you can see, even here outside on the wall, you can see these weird uh, splatter marks. Now we have reports that uh, we might find, see these exposed balls here, these? Yep. So supposedly there may be a, an, att an attacked version of this ball inside the gym. Uh, apparently this complex is a gym. So our objective is to find an intact uh, version of this inside of the gym. There are two tangles on the main road. Under.
for us, Brian. They're gonna meet us here. That's right. I'm Max. How are you? Come yeah. here. Can I talk? Did your uh, colleague already uh, walk you through the uh, general? Uh, uh, exactly, so as you can see there is some sort of substance that is spread around here. You can see some sort of balls that might be uh, oh, yeah. putting out the substance. Yeah. Uh, so we got reports that this complex has some sort of gym facility. Mm -hmm. And exactly uh, apparently within that gym there might be some of these balls that are intact. So we're hoping to get some of these balls that are intact, uh, get one of them, analyze them, send them home sort of deal. Okay. Uh, they asked for that uh, mission we require a local uh, systems force that A knows where the location is and B can provide security while we do our analytical work. Okay, uh, we've already swept the jet, so we know where it is, we can meet you there and we'll Perfect, that would be a great. How many, uh, how many bodies do you have? How many bodies do you have? I got four here with me. How many bodies are you total in the group? I've got enough. What does that mean? I think we gotta establish some sort of trust here. Yep, so we're here to help. Got four of us you, get, you guys got some sort of ID? I got my captain's hat, my crewmate, and I got uh, two additional guys out back that have been uh, recently added. Uh, uh, we and I will sleep in the room, and Brian and Bob, you guys These guys are looking for some sort of noxious substances. They've got the equipment for it. Okay. We're going to be hitting the gym that we were in previously. Yeah. So we're going to be dropping one guy at each door as we make it through. Okay. So you're going to be the first door, the one that we enter. He's going to be the second door, I believe he's on the right. Uh, I'll take we'll the third. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll take the point then. This has been cleared already? Okay. Um, I'll rock against the rear, and then we and I will be in the middle. Cover. Sir? Police! Sir, Canadian Forces? Who are you? You're on Canadian soil. I am the Canadian Forces. I'm representative of the Canadian government. Who are you? Identify yourself. I'm with the Canadian Forces. Lower your rifle right now. I have my hands up. Lower your rifle right now. Sir! Lower your rifle right now. I don't take orders from you. Sir, you're a police officer. Martial law has been declared. I'm with the Canadian Forces. I have full authority over this facility. Lower your weapon now. Sir! Lower your weapon. Very good. Come to me.
Everyone back off. Everyone back off. Yeah. Hello, my name is Max. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Um, so you are with? Uh, I'm with police here. The local police department? Yes. Uh, of Picton? Yes. Can you see an ID or anything like that? Uh, no. Time back. I'm civilian. I'm with them. I'm civilian. I'm with them. Watch it. I'll be good. Right. We got a civilian here. We got a civilian. I have to, I have to make my way down here, okay? Smart. Hands, hands out. Move. Moving. Another uh, another thing here. I think we should put this into the. Uh, yeah, it's like it's part of the. It might be part of the uh, incendiary kickoff system. Yeah. Stand back. Stand back. Go. Stand back. A lot of evidence stuff. Not just just keep this area secure. Let's uh, better flip this. No, nothing, nothing. Let's find another device. Very sophisticated. I think that might be the last of the system. We've got a good enough thing for a read. I think so. Uh, Alright, let's uh, reward these folks and then let's get out of here. Uh, be advised, uh, we have collected a very good specimen. Uh, we have exited the gym, we have completed the mission. Uh, we're on the road now. Are you gonna pick us up or are we uh, walking this on foot? Because this stuff is highly volatile. What did you say? Sorry, repeat your laugh. Because if we get killed, it's the. Uh, That's the fine. Uh, I'm just fine. Don't worry. Okay, sure. Storyline continuity. <laughs> I also get that. I hope you all enjoyed this mission. 
None of this would have happened if it wasn't for our great friend Delta from Operate Milsim. Please stay tuned for more parts to this series. As always, stay safe and P1.